we've just come off the end of a six week break. Last round was Alton Park, uh, had a fantastic race there. We finished second, moved on from there. I went straight to Imola for World Superbike to fill in for Leon Camier, and unfortunately I broke my ankle. Yeah, we're here at the MS Centre in Lincoln. Uh, it's the hyperbaric chamber. In here every morning, Monday to Friday. Um, and yeah, this is where this is where it all happens. So um, it's not the most exciting thing you'll ever do, but uh, sitting there for about an hour, hour and 20 minutes, um, and uh, yeah, just suck on some oxygen. <laughs> Yeah, we know, we know. You're the boss, aren't you? You're the big boss. You know, occupational health and safety and all that, so uh, yeah, helmet on, one-legged rowing. You never know, you might fall off. The guys at the Honda Racing Workshop this year have done an absolutely amazing job. Like, the last race that we had at Alton Park, I felt the best that I've felt racing a motorbike in such a long time. And, uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm not going to let this season go just because of a broken leg, so I'm determined to, to be on a gridless net, so we'll do everything we can. Yeah, Brands was a long time ago and I had my collar on then, so uh, yeah, nine, just over nine weeks ago. Um, what I've been up to, well, trying to sort my neck out basically. As you know, I, I fractured C6, not a bad fracture, but obviously where it's located it was taken seriously, so it was just physios, hyperbaric chambers, and wait till it's time to get back on the bike really, which has been frustrating, but I fit a few things in. I went to the TT with Honda, watched the guys out there doing the stuff, which was good fun. Well, here we are at the TT, and I think it's clear to see if you go around the track, it takes balls of steel to go around that place. He's been out today, he's been out this morning. I've been out on the road bike this morning, and it was really just to get a bit of a feel for it, and. He's about five foot, and his balls must be about four foot. So. <laughs> you know, everyone's asking, oh, are you going to have a go, are you going to have a go? But I would love to have a few closed road laps and sort of assess it there and, and then decide after, but that's never going to happen, I guess. So. <laughs> you need to, he's going to do some breed laps without Harv faint out. So, <laughs> and if Harv doesn't see this, we're going to get him some breed laps, right? I mean, if you asked me sort of three weeks ago, uh, would we have both riders at Snetterton? It was looking highly doubtful uh, as the weeks went by. You could clearly see that both Dan and Jason had been working really hard on the fitness and rehabilitation. Coming into the weekend, I didn't know whether I was going to make it here or not. The, the day I broke my ankle, I thought, right, I've got five weeks to Snedderton and the, the target is to get here. And if I can get here, then, then we've achieved uh, you know, a good thing. You know, we, we made it. So once we made it here, then the, the target moves again. Sort of exceeded my expectation a little bit in qualifying. I immediately felt quite good on the bike with new tyres, but not as confident on used tyres because I'd lost out on a lot of time of riding the bike. So I wasn't as confident going into the races, and I, I sort of thought maybe I'd set myself up for a little bit of a fall by qualifying quite well. Into the first turn, an awful mistake by Andrew Irwin takes out Laverty and the two Hondas. You know, race one, I didn't get any further than 200 metres round the lap. You know, me and Jason were both taken out by another rider. The next thing you know, I was on my backside and landed on my leg again, so um, I don't know what damage we've got yet. We'll have to go and see the surgeon this week. Hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully, hopefully we don't need another surgery and hopefully it's not so bad. The whole team, you know, I can't thank them all enough. We've got a great little unit. If something happens and it's a bit weak on one side because of crash damage or anything, they're all there. They all just dig in. They don't need telling. And, uh, you know, I can't thank them all enough, really. So again, I'd, I'd not got a race distance under my belt. Everybody else had, and I'd already missed out on nine weeks of riding. So I was sat on the grid for race two, you know, not very confident, but just wanted to get a race distance under my belt. Then it's pretty super bike, race two at Snetterton. As the race went on, I felt more comfortable, better on used tyres, and bike had good potential, so... I sort of looked up and there was a gap to the leaders. I knew I was not going to get any further than fourth. My aim was just to make sure I finished in the front of my group, which was for fourth place, and 
was able to do that with a couple of laps left. Dan to fighter, you know, he's certainly a race day man. He goes from here to Japan for a Suzuki 8 hour test. We've got a knock hill test, we've got a cattle park test. And I think, you know, getting all those laps under his belt, you're going to see a different person at knock hill.